What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effect Studios, and today we're inside of Visual Studio 2019. And what we got here is if we look back at my video here, which is Visual Studio 2010, and let's go ahead and open it up in a wide screen. If we come over here and we get to where we can open up and create a new project or a new website, these are the options that we're given. However, with the new 2019 version, the only thing that we can do is that we can do a new project and then it'll come over here and then we can do web application and all this, but it's not giving us the same exact stuff as what we used to have as an option. So what we're gonna do is come over here to tools. Then we're gonna choose get tools and features. And right over here on the right hand side, if we scroll all the way down, we get this right here, additional project templates, previous version. We're going to select this. Now, if this is the first time that you're installing Visual Studio and you're only going to design web applications, then I suggest that you choose this option right here. And then you scroll all the way down and you choose additional project templates, previous version. Then you choose modify. It says before we get started, save your work before it says everything's fine. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and close out of this choose file and then new project and then right here we want visual basic and then if we come down here you got to make sure you choose the right one we want our language to be for in my case we want visual basic so we're going to come down here to visual basic and then we're going to choose this one right here which is the empty website or we can choose a web form site we're going to choose the empty website go ahead and click on next and then we're going to have our saved right there website go ahead and click on create and there we go so now the only thing we got to do is come over here and then we got to choose a new file and then from visual basic we want a web form choose add and then right here it's going to create our default.aspx page with our default.aspx.vp all right this is wayne baron with dr Freak studios y'all have a good one now bye bye